Hi everyone! Today I'm gonna show you how to work with widget VSC++. Let's start it! Let's create an empty project. Now let's make ready our project and create all base classes we need. I want game opens in new window. For the test we need whatever widget. Let's create one. Don't forget activate is focusable checkbox to have ability set it in focus. Create a new level. Set it as default project level in the project settings. Create a new base game mode C++ class. Create a child blueprint class and set it as default in the project settings. Create a new base player controller C++ class. Create a child blueprint class and set it as default in our game mod blueprint. Create a new base game instance C++ class. Create a child blueprint class and set it as default in game instance class in the project settings. After we are prepared our project, let's take a look how to create widget via blueprints. Inside of BP My Game Instance, create custom event and call it as create widget. Then create the logic. Save the player controller reference to the variable. Show mouse cursor. Create widget. Add it to viewport. Set input mode. And set focus to the created widget. Open BP My Player Controller and call Create Widget Event in the game instance on the Begin Play Event. Now let's take a look that all its works. After that, let's delete the blueprint logic we are created and do the same via C. First, we need open build CS file and add the UMG model to it. Without it, we cannot work with widgets via C++. After that, we need close Visual Studio and do generate Visual Studio project files. Open 
open the game instance and create the constructor. Then we need to include the namespace as we need. For widgets, and for getting references to object classes. Inside the constructor, we are create widget variable. After that, do check full null pointer. Then, for convenience, let's save reference to the widget class in the new variable. Before we will create widget, let's check just reference to the widget class is correct. For it, let's create the virtual init method and show in console name of the class we are taking. Now you can see name of ticket classes are displayed in the console. All works correctly. Now let's create one new method inside the game instance and name it as show widget. Pay attention to the blueprint callable parameter. It gives us ability to call this method via blueprints. Then create the body of this method. Create widget. Add it to the viewport.
set up input parameters for set input mode method. Do focus on our widget via set input mode method. Show mouse cursor. Open my player controller and call show widget event in the game instance on the begin play event. Let's test it to be sure all its works. And this is all for today. If you like this video, if you find it useful, press like, subscribe us, press on the bell to know when new video come, write your comments, I will try answer all your questions. And goodbye.